Shoo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we've got... Oh, he's coming. Quacky! How's it going, Quacky? How's it going, buddy? <laughs> Millie, Millie, you gotta be nice to Quacky. He's not really quacking. He's just... He's, like, more barking than anything right now, but... Anyways, how's it going, Quack? You doing all right, buddy? How's it going, Tyrone? How you doing, buddy? Good talk. Anyways, how's it going, folks? We are gonna do something interesting today. We're ready for it. We're excited. Millie, you cannot come with us today, unfortunately. We are going ice fishing. We went ice fishing yesterday. Super, super sketchy. We thought we were gonna die, but we uh, we woke up this morning and it's nice and cold outside. So we're figuring eh, it's probably safe, probably. Knock on wood. If anyone falls in, I hope it's this guy right here. Wow. I feel like you could swim. You'd be all right. I don't know. No, you can definitely swim. You look, you look, you, battle? you look like Phelps. You look, you look good. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to attempt to do a catch cook on the ice, which I know adding fire to thin ice probably not the best idea, but we're gonna try it anyway. Uh, the last video we caught a bunch of bluegills, no bass, so I'm hoping I should catch some bass today, not for the catch cook, but just for the sake of catching bass or crappie or walleye or even cat. <coughs> there it is. You're a little late, buddy. You just woke up or what? Okay, anyways, Quacky's, Quacky's back. He's doing Quacky things. Anyways, we are going to go down to the pond and do a catch group. But first, right here, we've got some little minnows, which a lot of you guys have been commenting saying the ducks like minnows, like this. So I feel Look. like, oh, you got a chub. A chub, eat this? a frozen chub, maybe, potentially. But what I'm thinking we should do is we should take, let's, let's get some water, some fresh water in a, in a doggy bowl and dump some minnows in there and see what the ducks do. A lot of you guys have been commenting, hey, give the ducks some minnows, they like them, they taste good, you know, good protein, stuff like that. So we have minnows to go do some dangling for some ice fishing, but while we're down here, making sure the animals are good to go, we're gonna try to feed Quacky and Tyrone some minnows. While Bonzo's getting water, I'm gonna check for eggs, because we also, <coughs> Quacky, <coughs> Quacky, chill. We also, oh shoot, here we go. There's an egg right there. I don't think that's frozen, is this one frozen? It's kinda hard to tell. That's eh, cracked. That one might be frozen. Maybe. I'll try to warm it up. But we are we can use this egg for the old catch and cook because we're gonna be hopefully frying some some fish. So uh, well, we're gonna we're gonna try to warm this egg up. Maybe by the time we start catching fish, it'll be warm. It's not cracked, so I feel like we're probably good. But I'll stick that thing in my pocket. Bonzo's on water duty. Water duty. Here, let's use this one. Quaggy, we're gonna get you some water and some minnows. Oh yeah. Fresh water for my guy. Only the best for Quacky. You think Millie will like it? Hey, 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 hey. You cannot have minnows. No, you cannot. <laughs> oh, yep. snap! Yep. Yep. Oh, 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 see you later, dude. Gonzo. Oh, my God. Quacky, you got to get in on this, buddy. Right here. Come on, buddy. Come here, Quacky. Quacky, come back. Here you go, chickens. You want me to pick up Quacky right here? Oh, oh, snap. Oh, oh, sheesh, dude. The chickens love the freaking minnows. All right, come here, Quacky. Quacky, get some minnows. Come on, Quacky. Believe in you, buddy. <laughs> Quacky's, Quacky's thinking about it. Oh, oh, snap. Oh, 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 he's trying. He's trying to murk. He's trying to murk. Oh, he's trying to murk. Did you get one? No. Oh, he got one. He got, he one. got one. He got one. He got one. Look at this dangling, that. dude. Bro, he just murked a minnow. Oh, he's yeah. working on yeah, one! He likes it. All right, let's see if we can sneak up and get a little closer. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Buddy's loving it. I'll see if I can put a couple more in for him. Quacky. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> murked! 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 That's enough duck feeding. I never knew they would do that. Oh, he's coming in hot. Oh, he got one. There he goes. Look at him. Oh, look at it. Oh, dang. Dude, you dropped it, bro. You chopped its head and then dropped it. We'll finish him off, Junior. Don't just leave him dangling in there. He's dead now. Does he see that big one? He's getting freaked out. Yep, get him. There you go. Oh, yeah, he finished him off. Atta boy. I want him to get that big Tyrone, one. Tyrone, you're missing out on all the fish. This is the new, instead of quack snacks, minnows. We'll send Bonzo on minnow duty, and he just brings back minnows every day. Screw the quack snacks. This, this stuff's probably really high in protein. It's probably better for them than that processed quack snack stuff. Here, you got chickens want to peck at that guy? Oh, snap! Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Took the whole fish, Marty. bro! Marty came in and took the whole shove! I had no idea. Never would have known. Without you guys, you guys comment and say give him fish. We just so happen to have some fish to go ice fishing later. There you have it. You're welcome, Quacky. There's uh, there's still a couple more in there for you, buddy. But we're uh, we're headed off fishing. See you later, dude. Shoo! Alright, well now we're down at the pond, folks. This is what the pond looks like. 
We honestly, the holes we we have probably aren't even froze over. We could probably just reuse some of the holes we fished the dam the first time. Walked over down Narnia. It's super sketch. This is where I fell through right here, but we got all the ice fishing stuff down, ready to just to give it a dangle. We're gonna try doing a catch and go. What we've got to catch and cook with is well, we got that one egg, and then we've got this grill, and we've got a pan and some oil and some. I think it's some spicy buffalo fry. So we're gonna go after bluegills, crappie, catfish. We'll probably know. We'll, we'll go after bass, but we're not gonna catch cook the bass. So anyways, I guess we'll get everything kind of loaded up in the sled and get out there. You guys stay tuned. Come on, Bonzo, jump on the sled. Oh, it's actually pretty heavy. Don't, don't get on. Yeah, looks good. Oh, wow. Oh, dude, that just cracked me. That cracked right between my legs. Dude, it's bad. This is, this is sketch. I don't like this at all. Every step it cracks, yeah. Right where it's been nice and weakened. Oh my God. You probably could hurry hear that one on camera. Screw this, dude, I don't like this. Don't so close to me. Yeah, get away from me, Junior. Bro, it's cracking everywhere. I don't like this, dude. Yeah. This... Can we just go off the dock? <laughs> we might have to just go off the dock at this point. I don't know if I trust standing around there. That's too, yeah, let's not do that. We're safe, boys. Let's unload the catch and cook stuff. High quality grill. The pan. We've got some spicy buffalo style. We've got the egg. Hasn't cracked. I'm gonna keep it in my pocket to keep it warm. Extra propane in case we run out. Knife, some Ziplocs, some oil. Nice and frozen. Uh, anything else we need? Fish. We need fish, yeah. Let's go catch some fish. Oh, no way, Bonzo's hooked up. Yet. Oh, God, yes. Oh, it came off! It's because you didn't clear your hole, Junior. It's because I'm not trying to fall through. It hit the ice. <laughs> you got this. There you go. All right, we're out here giving in a dang. John's getting the freaking Fish Finder 3000 hooked up there. Oh, for Christ's sake, John. John, God you're gonna dang. Fall in. Oh, chill. We're all going to die. Drop back down. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get murked. Yep, yep. Fire in the hole. Got him. Got him, Daddy. He's hooked up. Oh, he's way on the other Eater. side. Yes, yeah. sir. Woo! That's a kegger. That is, dude. That's what we need. That's straight freaking groceries, man. Ice fishing groceries out here. Took about five minutes. Daddy got one. First one down, baby. I think our goal should be, what do you think, six? Six. Two S per person. Six, two per person. All right, one down. All right, I got one. Dropping her down for number two. Snack. You got yeah, him. I got him. Oh, oh what's yeah. that strap? I was like, he barely hit me. Bruh. I think we're gonna put him back. Buddy's out here taking my spot, dangling the little guys. Flare fish. Maybe that maybe that's why they're not biting. You know, True, we're seeing we're small. seeing a few fish, the so pride is too small. I'm gonna make a I wanna make a power move. I'm gonna I'm gonna go venture off on my own and uh, go find an open hole from previous adventure. Boys are over there on the dialed hole. I'm gonna come over here. Perfect. Alright. Dropping her down. Dad, it's cracking. Oh, you coming to join join Poppy? Let's see what you're doing with here. God dang it. Oh, I hate that sound. Nothing. Should we go try to find the mega school? Take care of it. Hey, tell your girlfriend to hush up or film it. I know. Tell her daddy's at work right now. Say, hey honey, sorry, daddy's at work. It's a business call. Well, this is your your only business you should be worried about is catching these fat freaking bluegills. Yeah, I want to go over there, but it's sketchy. I bet mean, that's where the fish are, though. Yeah, I have an idea. Why don't you get in that John boat, <laughs> sit in it, and just use the spud bar as a row? You would slide across the ice, and if you fall through, you're in a boat. Probably would. Real talk. Why wouldn't that work? Let's do it. Let's load up the boat and go over there. I feel like we'd definitely fall in, though. You think so? With two dudes. What about one? Should I go on a solo mission over there? Yeah, we suck, dude. We're just not, we're not on the juice, boys. We thought the dam was gonna be dialed. It was pretty dialed when we first fished this pond, but we think juice is that way, but we'll sketch get there. My idea is getting in the boat. This is definitely a bad idea. Oh God, it's cracking as I'm walking. For the love of God, I don't like this game. Oh, okay. All right, so here's my idea. I get in this boat here. I'm paddling out on the ice. The only thing is, I don't have a paddle. For 
Oh, dude, it slides easy. I just need a paddle. I need the spud bar. I can do it. I need the bar. This thing doesn't dig. All right, got the rod, the bar. Can we give it a nice push? Let's see if this works. Push in though, like hit it once. Now daddy's cooking. Okay, I'll give you a push. Hold on. Don't walk in here. It's I think this is the strat, no? You think I'm gonna oar my way all the way out there? No. That's not bad. See you later, boys. Oh, that'll work. All right. See you later, boys. All right. I need to get over here. It's that sketchy ice. This thing don't really turn that well. What if I rode it like a Razor scooter? Actually, I feel like that'll work. Bro, if I had cleats, that would work. Yeah, I feel like I should just walked. Probably would have been a better idea. I mean, I could try dangling here. All right, I'll try here. There's this point here, so I feel like it won't do bad. All right, one hole has been dug. Definitely could have just walked over here, but didn't want to risk it. Oh yeah, there's a fish. Hold up. We got one. Drop him down, boys. Oh, there's another fish right there. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, Junior. Oh, yeah, there's fish here, boys. Ooh, one's on me. Ooh, dude, tons of fish. Holy crap. Like a crazy amount of fish. Holy crap. <laughs> Cannot believe this. All right, come on. This isn't mega school. Oh, he bit me. He, he take my worm. I just got bit. Big school down there. That felt like a bigger fish, too. It didn't feel like a little guy. Drop her down. Okay. Might be a fish coming from the left. Oh, definitely a fish. 100% a fish. Oh, he's coming. He's murking me. He's murking me. Yep. Murked. Got murked. What up, boys? Oh, snap. Oh, snap. We got an eater, son. Chew! Oh, no, it broke. Oh, it came off in the hole. Bro. Bro. Why did I just sound like a goat right there? I don't know. What the hell? I didn't pull the freaking contraption here looks like a goddamn transformer rip all right it's all right we'll get another one we're on the we're on the juice we're, we're dropping the poles here in a second all right ice fishing from a boat huh yeah this is what you do just sit in the boat that way you fall through you don't die how you get back out i'll figure that out if it happens but at least i know i'm not gonna drown oh fish lots of fish lots big fish yep yep Got him. Oh god, that's a big one too. Get out. Oh, that's a big one. Oh god. Oh no, it came off again. Dude, this thing sucks. It just keeps getting It's alright, I got the angle. GoPro died. Sorry boys. Dude, there was there was keggers down there. A school of keggers came in and it got I was pulling up the freaking deucer again and it popped off. I suck. How's it going, folks? You never just do something and then think, why did I just waste my time? I mean, I had, what, two two fish hooked? Goodens, eaters. I'm just kind of tired of paddling around. Thing's not very efficient. Also, probably could have just walked. It's just one of those things, you know, not worth risking. Not worth risking, risking your life. So I figured if you're in a boat, better chance of survival. But I'm gonna head back. We're gonna get to cooking. We got two two gills. John, John caught an eater off camera when I was paddling my way over here. So, well, maybe Bonzo can catch another one by the time I get back. Boom, we're back folks. How's it going? I uh, swam my way back. Didn't fall through. Thank goodness. Um, and John's on fillet duty as you guys can see. We're obviously not going to get any close-ups of that. You guys, if you want to know how to fillet a fish, you probably should just go Google it because I can't show that stuff on my channel or anybody really shouldn't be showing it on their channel. Not not my opinion, but just YouTube's opinion. Anywho, uh, we're going to get this thing fired up. Basically the strat's going to be, especially since we only have two bluegills, it's really not that much. Uh, this little propane girl, let's see if we can get this thing on. Oh, it's going. It's going. It's not putting out a ton of heat. Wind is not helping. Just throw a little, little veggie oil on here. Bingo. While the oil is heating up, I got my trusty chicken egg. I feel like it's probably thawed out enough. We're gonna try cracking this thing. Oh yeah, we're money. We're good. 
to freaking go. Beautiful little chicken egg. Thank you, chickens, for that. This is gonna be your, your wet ingredients. What's gonna make the fish sticky so that the, the batter basically sticks to it. This stuff's really, see how orange that is? Farm fresh, baby. So that bag is good to go. Your second bag is gonna be this stuff, spicy buffalo, uh, a little breading. And uh, the nice thing about cooking fish or frying anything in general, so all you need is some Ziplocs and you're pretty much in business. Open up your Ziploc. And since we're only doing a few fish, a couple fish, you don't really need that much. Maybe a third of this bag to half of this bag would probably be sufficient. Go ahead and dump this guy out. Perfect, you can save the rest for later. Now you've got two bags ready to rock and roll. Now we're just waiting on Johnny doing the filleting. Wash off the fillets and we'll get to cooking. Shoo, look at what Johnny, I mean, keggers. That's a bluegill, bro. So what you do is you take your fillets, now they're nice and clean, throw them in with that egg wash. All it's gonna do is just get sticky. Like I said, the farm fresh eggs, this guy is super sticky. He's also, he's also really cold, so that probably helps it get sticky, but it's just gonna help that batter stick on it. We've used hot sauce before. People, you know, you can just use water, you can use buttermilk. There's a lot of different options. I like egg, egg and, egg and hot sauce, but since we're using buffalo spicy chicken style, basically the breading, you don't really need any more hot sauce. That's, that'd be a little bit too much sauce. Then what you do is you do a little transferring. You take your egg washed fillets and pop those bad boys in that bag. Sheesh. Is it oil hot? Nope, not quite. All right, then take your bag, keep some air in it. That's one trick of mine. Shut it. So you've got this air pocket. You just give it a shake. It's like a little maraca. Just give it a, give it a shake and you wanna make sure everything's evenly coated. Just like that. And then when you take them out, they're gonna look like perfect breaded crispies. We're waiting for that oil to get a little bit hotter. How you know it's hot is if you throw some flour in there and it kind of sizzles and stuff, it's hot enough. This grill's not really super impressive. It's also not really made for uh, frying. It's getting there, everything's starting to bubble. So maybe give it five, 10 more minutes and we're gonna start throwing everything in the grease. Oil is hot, ladies and gentlemen, here you go. The moment you've all been waiting for. Shoo! All right, this oil's probably gonna cool off by adding these, so I'm hoping that it stays hot enough. It should be all right. But we're gonna head and just full send and throw all of them in. And then hope we can get them up to up to temp and golden crispy. Ah, straight fire. Ooh, throw it under the little wind block we've got going on here. Boom, catch and cook on the ice. Gotta wait, basically until they start floating. Once they're golden crispy, golden crispy, and you're good to go. Shoo, we're ready, boys. She's hot. She's steamy, and they're done. Ooh, perfect delivery. It could go a little bit longer, but I'm hungry, so we're taking them off. They're definitely cooked. Yes, sir. How hot is that? <sighs> no, it's not so pretty good. It's already good. Oil could have been a tad hotter. My favorite kind of catch and cooks. These are good. Way better than raccoons and all that. Mm. If the oil was a little hotter, it'd be a little crispier. It's a it's a tad, I wouldn't say doughy, tad mushy. Mm -hmm. It's not that crunch you want. Mm -hmm. Still, that meat tastes fire. Mm. Spicy mm. buffalo. The spicy smooth. buffalo is the move. No no extra sauce needed. No seasonings needed. Mm. All right, Johnny. This is your moment. This is your fillet job doing. Oh yeah, pretty good. That's fire. It's man. not bad. That's good. Yeah, mm, I like that breading. Breading's good. The the flavor's like just enough. It's not too spicy. It's good. Like you don't need to add in extra like salt no or nothing. Anything. It's re it's ready to rock and roll. It's all you, buddy. Oh, thank you. I didn't you. even catch a fish. I know. In this video. That's why I feel bad. So you got you got to eat the fish because you didn't catch anything. You didn't contribute, but God, you're just here for the taste testing. Killed it. Thumbs up. Fire. Thumbs up. Killed the freaking game out here, folks. Did the old catch and cook out on the ice. It's nice having this dock because I don't feel like I'm gonna die at any moment. That's normally how I feel walking around. But let me know what you guys think of the boat strat. I don't think it was bad. Honestly, if there was no snow, it wouldn't be bad. Yeah, the snow slowed me down and made me start wheezing. But other than that, it, w it wasn't that bad. And we caught two bluegills. I missed a few, John missed a few, Bonzo just didn't catch anything. We ended up coming out here and eating fresh 
caught bluegill from the backyard pond. Pretty freaking delicious. That's honestly, bluegills, it's up there. Fresh bluegill that was swimming around like 10 minutes ago. It's pretty tough to beat that as far as catching cooks go. But if you guys enjoy the ice fishing videos, especially the backyard pond ones, let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know what else you guys would like to see us do. Um, backyard pond or ice fishing. Maybe we have a three P and do uh, idiots take guns ice fishing for the third time in a row. You guys let me know if you guys wanna see that video. That's, that's, always, <laughs> that's always an annual banger. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and peace.